Hello, this is Dr. Jody Stanislaw, and you are watching Type 1 Diabetes TV, the place to be for having a long and healthy life with T1D. In today's episode, I'm going to explain why our blood sugars tend to go up in the morning when we haven't eaten anything. Well, this is called the dawn phenomenon, and it is a result of the hormone cortisol. Cortisol has a 24-hour cycle in the body, in every person's body, and it tends to peak in the early morning hours. And when cortisol is secreted, it actually tells the liver to put glucose into the bloodstream. It's probably the body trying to help give us a little bit of energy as we get ready to wake up and start our day. But for those of us with diabetes, that little mixture of energy we don't really appreciate because it in our bodies shows as a high blood sugar level, even when we haven't eaten anything. So cortisol is also called the stress hormone. And the more stressed you are, the more stress, the more cortisol is secreted, which is also why stress at any time of day can raise the blood sugar. But even in the absence of stress, cortisol tends to peak in the morning, which means it's telling the liver to put glucose into the bloodstream. So, so many of my patients ask, why is my sugar level going up in the morning when I haven't eaten anything? Well, this is why. It's very natural, very normal. Anybody without diabetes has a peak of cortisol in the morning as well. Of course, if you don't have diabetes, the pancreas makes insulin and takes care of the blood sugar level rise. In our case, we have to take more insulin. This Blood sugar spike can start anywhere from 3 a.m. or maybe not even start till 7 a.m. Mine is a little unpredictable from day to day. Sometimes I stay steady until the second I open my eyes and get moving and then it goes straight up. And other times I can see on my continuous glucose monitor that I have a slight rise starting at about 4. It goes up, goes up, goes up. In my case, once I get moving, it goes up even more. And it's very unpredictable from day to day. So in my case, I'm on shots, and that means I just take some extra rapid-acting insulin in the morning. I'll take a unit when I wake up. In an hour, if I'm still going up, I'll take another unit. You know, it's diabetes. It's different every day. If you have a pump, you can dial in your basal rate to automatically increase in the morning and hopefully cover it. Hopefully yours is more predictable than mine from day to day, so you can set your pump on a daily basis to increase and maybe your blood sugar levels, you won't even notice it. It'll be nice and steady. Um, but that's why we go high in the morning. And that's also why sometimes your insulin to carb ratio, you need more insulin in the morning for say 10 or 15 grams of carb than you do in the afternoon or evening. Because the presence of cortisol not only makes our blood sugar level go high, but it creates a little bit of insulin resistance too. So our insulin is not as effective uh, in the morning as it is when cortisol is not not peaking. But of course, in excess, cortisol is the stress hormone and cortisol can peak at any time of day in response to stress. And that is why stress can raise your blood sugar level as well. So now you know, that's why the blood sugar level tends to go up in the morning and you know what you can do about it. I encourage you to check out my website for lots more free content as well as my life-changing online courses. I have a training course on nutrition and how to dose. I have a training course on emotional health and how to avoid burnout, on exercise and mastering blood sugar during exercise. So please take a look at my website, Dr. Jody N D. That's N as in Nancy, D as in doctor.com. And also, if you know anybody with type 1 diabetes, please share this video with them. Tune in next week for next episode of Type 1 Diabetes TV. Bye for now.